My first guest is an Oscar, Emmy, and Golden Globe winner starring in the new movie Locked Down, which premieres this Thursday on HBO Max. Here is Anne Hathaway. Ah, oh, that's what I'm talking about. And welcome back to The Tonight Show. You look fantastic. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. Uh, I've known you for a, a pretty long time now. Mm -hmm. uh, I've heard people call you Annie, like your good friends. Do I call you Anne or Annie? Call me Annie. Yeah. Call everybody, everybody, call me Annie, please. It's... Can we talk about my name for a second? Yeah. Cool, I'd love to. Oh, okay. Please, can, can we, can we, can we, can we really get, let's spill the tea. <laughs> yeah, I So wonder. I, you know, when I was 14 years old, I did a commercial and I, and I, and I had to get my SAG card and uh, they asked me, what do you want your name to be? And I'm like, well, it should be my name. My name's Anne Hathaway. Like, and, and I never, and, and so that seemed like the right choice, but it never occurred to me that for the rest of my life, people would call me Anne. The only person who ever calls me Anne is my mother, and she only does it when she's really mad at me, like really mad. Yeah, I know. And that. so I, every time, like I step out in public and someone calls my name, I think they're gonna yell at me. Yeah, my mom would say and my middle so, name, uh, James Thomas. So, so, but I doubt people are just like James Thomas. How, <laughs> how are you? I loved your last film. People are like Anne. I'm like, what? What did I do? No, I'm, I'm Annie. So, so Please, seriously, just feel free. It, it's not, people are so lovely. They don't want to pres be presumptuous. And so I think they come up with workarounds on set because no, because, because the truth is nobody's comfortable calling me Anne ever. It doesn't fit. It's not, I'm an Annie. Yeah, and so I people call I me like Miss H, people call me Hath. So feel free, call me anything but Anne. <laughs> uh, well, Annie, congrats, uh, by the way, since the last time you were here, you had another baby. You have two beautiful boys right now. Uh, congratulations. How how old are they? Uh, they're four and they're one. Oh my gosh. During quarantine, has it been crazy? <laughs> Just perfect. Just what yummy. hasn't been crazy? <laughs> like, yes, like on, on the list of things that are crazy, it's been, it's been a lot, but I mean, they're, they're, those are good ages to be home with your kids because, you know, our four-year-old believes everything we tell him. Yep. And um, that's adorable as well as very useful. And, um, and our one-year-old is just like, he's, it, it's just the most magic age. You know, we've just been home since he was four months old, just with him every single day. And, and that's, that, that's been a gift. Yeah, it's pretty wild. And do they... did, did you like tell your kids everything when they were four, like to kind of get them to do what you wanted them to do? Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, sure. Whatever. I, I still kind of do it. Yeah. I just go, <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll get this. But yeah, I mean, I, I would, I was, when they were really babies, I was trying to get Winnie to say Dada so hard. Uh, to make that our first word. We know. But, we know, Jimmy. Do I have the book around? No, I don't. But if well, I did... I have the book it, and it works. We could put it in darn first. <laughs> Dude, it really I was works. calling everything, Dad. I was calling the bottle. You jerk. I was you jerk. Really? <laughs> oh, no, 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 I was no, calling no. The, the bottle of milk, Dad. We should Dada. have talked about this before so I could really let you know how I feel. <laughs> I also, I, I also put out Mama. I have Mama. You got to read you that book. You send that one to me, sweetie. Oh, you know what? Quarantine. It's, it's in the oh, mail. Oh, yeah, no, no, of course. I understand. I have to. I have to understand. Yeah, I but have my to four understand. Year old, it's the best because over the holidays, um, like this is the first year he's really believed in Santa Claus. And we were driving in the car. And you know when like you're in the car with your kids and suddenly the car just gets too hot? <laughs> yes. Like, all I... of a sudden, like in a second, yes. and everybody gets like loud at the same moment. And the baby's crying because he wants the cracker that the four-year-old has, and the four-year-old will not give him a cracker. Yeah. And yeah. like, just won't do it, won't do it, won't do it. And then finally, I get, I just have this spark, and I go, okay, Johnny, but what about Santa? Th like, the, his hand shot out straight towards me. I had the entire box of crackers. Suddenly, there was no argument. And Adam and I turned to each other, and we went, oh, my God, this wow. is so powerful. Wow. <laughs> what did we just, that's right. This so, year, so, so four and one were, were, were you know, the, the, the ages are the ages that they are, but there's a lot of magic in those ages. Uh, this, you know, I, I tried not to do uh, Elf in the Shelf just because I go, I don't know, I have enough things to worry about, you know, uh, and, and, and to have the Elf in the Shelf thing. And he, you want to hear the weirdest thing? It showed up in my house. We do what do you it mean? Now. The Elf is in my, it, somehow, I don't know how we got it, but the Elf on the Shelf is now in my house and it does stuff. Every holiday. We night. had to come up with something because like Johnny would leave the room and then Jack would mess with his stuff and Johnny would come back and be like, who messed with my stuff? And we came up with the demolition elves. <laughs> what? Oh, interesting. 
So at nighttime, That's... at nighttime after he went to bed, the demolition elves messed with the stuff. But there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> Telling you that's us. a spinoff. It certainly wasn't demolition your elves. I love it. You are now going to wail on. Now you're not going to wail on. <laughs> uh, I want to talk about your new movie, Locked Down, because it, it's so you're fascinating. You're saying that very well. Thank you. What, really I to, what I don't want to locked. say is, it's not locked down. It's locked. It's not locked down. It's locked. Locked down. down. Right. I guess you do have to kind of. I just want to make well, sure people was... people can hear Honestly, what the title. Honestly, have a glass of wine before you watch the movie. It'll be locked down. <laughs> locked down. Do locked down. down. Uh, Babe, honey, let's, how just, did you let's just watch it. Let's just watch Locked Town. I don't know. It's on, it's on HBO Max. Just type HBO in Locked Town. HBO Max? Yeah, we have that. Yeah, we sure. That it's too. one word. Who cares? Locked Town. <laughs> it's a fun heist movie, but also a little love in there and, I, I, and funny. I, I thought it was fantastic. How do you, how do you describe the movie? Uh, the story, so I, I act in it with, it's directed by Doug Liman, so if you are a fan of Doug Liman movies, you know to expect a lot and, and many different wonderful things. And yeah. I act opposite Shuadal Ejiofor, who is just a dream. Oh my God, he's amazing and wonderful in this. And he's never played a part like this before. And we play two people in a long-term relationship that has run its course. And the day after we have our, like, can't take it back, end it all, rager of a fight. Yep. Um, my character gets a call that one of my coworkers is experiencing symptoms and we are now to be locked down with each other for 14 days in quarantine. And we sort of lose our minds, find each other, and then somehow decide to steal a three, three million pound diamond from a mass murderer. And how did you even get Harrods to, to play? So the climax of the movie takes place in Harrods. I don't know. Is this is the short of it? But it, I think it's this 2020 thing because Doug and Stephen <laughs> had you pulled it 40 off. pages that they said we've got 40 pages an idea, but if you don't say yes to our needing to shoot the fi the finale of the movie in your in your store, there's no point in us making it. So can we get a yes or a no? And Harrod said yes. And you would expect them to be like, we have to call our lawyers, we have to run it through this, we have to do market research. And it was 2020, and they were like, you know what? Why not? It's legendary. It's Herod's. Come on. Uh, anyways, I want to show a clip. Here's uh, Anne Hathaway in Locked Down. Take a look at this. Three million pounds. Tax free. No consequences. One for me, one for you, one for the NHS. You have thought about this. You know, I need to go meditate. Well, are you sure they won't check it in New York? Shut up. I need to meditate. What, are, what were you going to say? The man who bought the diamond is bad. He's really bad in you and I are good and the NHS is good and good is better than bad. And when I explained all that to Grandma, even she said, well, yeah, that's true. And she was a Calvinist, straight as a rod. Unlike me, who is weak in the face of temptation. Live wild or die, Linda. Anne Hathaway, everybody. Lockdown premieres this Thursday on HBO Max. Uh, uh -huh. On and on and on. Uh, I said... And it's so